What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here. You're probably noticing a little bit of a change when it comes to the camera angle. The main reason behind this is because I finally upgraded to a triple monitor setup. And you might see one of the monitors right here actually, but the problem that I ran into is that I just simply don't have enough space for a camera to be put properly where I usually would have it. The typical angle that I do all my videos from. So I mean, I'm going to have to kind of experiment a little bit, try to see if I can find a way to compromise to make things work out until I do manage to get the camera back in its normal position by figuring something out. But right now, these three displays just totally make it so the old angle isn't really possible. So let me know how this one works out for you. And if it's good enough for everybody, then we can continue on like this. But if not, I'll try to figure out ways to get back to the original angle. Anyways, some of you may remember a few months ago that I introduced my friend Shijun, who I've known for quite a while now. And how the dude has this awesome ass little toy that's kind of like competing with Lego and whatnot. And I showed you guys that I liked it mainly for the pixel art, although there's a lot of other things that you can do with it. He was successful, man. I think he got like almost $8,000 more than what his goal was. I'm happy for the dude, you know? Um, especially considering that he did so much to help me move out, you know? So I was kind of really happy that that worked out for him, you know? That we both have a lot of stuff going on in our lives currently. So the fact that that worked out for him and me moving out helped, it, it, it's win-win for everybody. But anyway, so now I remember him saying that anybody who did contribute, even if it was just like simply a dollar, anyone that did contribute to his campaign way back when I, made, when I made my big channel return would be entered in for a chance to win some pretty crazy pixel art from his pin block creation. If you don't remember what I'm talking about, it's mainly these. You might have seen them in the background of my videos lately, but um, yeah, this is one of the things that's possible with pin blocks. I actually created a pixelated red robin and it looked really cool. It just broke up in the move because, you know, moving from where I was to now is just kind of like a crazy process. But I mean, he wants me to be able to give away two of these, but not of this one. Like, basically, someone's going to win the Mewtwo one and someone's going to win this Ash and Pikachu one. And that was kind of just his way of saying thanks for supporting him. And, you know, he, I mean, you know, the guy helped me out to move. So I wanted to help him out with this pin block thing and introduce you guys to it so you could see what kind of stuff it was. And I like it a lot myself, actually. It's actually killing me inside right now that I have to give this away because I really want to fucking keep it for the background of my videos. But, hey. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, hey, whatever. Let's just get on with it, okay? So everybody that contributed to help out my dude Shijun's campaign was entered in for a raffle chance to win the Mewtwo and then to win the Pikachu with Ash. So without further ado, we are going to do the raffle for the Mewtwo first. Actually, no, let's do it for the Pikachu and Ash one first. We start off small, then we go big. So like I said, everybody who donated or um, contributed to the Kickstarter campaign, I have you in a dish right here with all your names inside of it. So what we are now going to do is I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to randomly draw one name. And when we find out who that person is, I'll be messaging you on your email that, that you provided. And then we'll get this Ash and Pikachu to you as soon as possible. So let's go into it. Um, okay, I'm gonna mix these names around. And so I'm gonna put it right here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But I'm gonna, okay, let's go. And oh wait, oh, one of them fell out. Okay, let's go, close my eyes. Okay, and I'm going to draw this one. Okay, so the winner of the Ash and Pikachu pin block pixel art is someone named Atlas. I don't want to put your email out there, but if your name is Atlas as a donator on Kickstarter to the pin block campaign, then you won the Ash and Pikachu. So hooray, but let's get to the big shit now. The Ash and Pikachu one is all good, but the Mewtwo one is serious, man. So I'm um, finally, Man, this really kills me to give away. I'm gonna try to see if I can recreate this before I have to send it off to whoever won it, but now we are going to get into the big shit. Um, the Mewtwo pixel art was also just done out of hype because um, I didn't make these actually. My dude Shijun did, and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna make some hot shit for you and your channel so you can give it away. That way it'll be more relevant, you know? I mean, Mewtwo's pretty damn relevant with the Smash stuff that I've done so far. Haven't really done too many videos on Mewtwo ever since he's got released due to the whole trying to figure out the live streaming thing and the triple setup display. You know, there was a whole lot of crazy stuff going on, but now we are finally going to get into a giveaway with this Mewtwo. I hate that I have to give this thing away. I don't wanna give it away, but I mean, I got to. I got to. Either way, if you win this thing, there's so many great ways that you can use this son of a bitch. Like, you can put it on the wall. It's actually taped together on the back, so it's really, really solid. And the cool thing about these pin block pixel arts is that once you make them, if you want to, like, move them for storage, all you got to do to store them is to just kind of fold them like this. 
and now you can carry it around in case you need to bring it somewhere or in case you want to move it from one area to another. It sounds like I'm really selling the product, but this is actually just like a really cool function of it. The fact that you can take the pixel art, kind of like fold it up. You can fold it up really tight too. You know, this is just me doing it really quick, but you could really precisely fold it. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in this, but I'm going to undo it now. <clears throat> All right, and let's figure out which one of the Kickstarter campaign funders is going to be winning this Mewtwo. So I guess I'll close my eyes again for it. I kind of don't want to close my eyes though because some of them might fall out and I don't want there to be an unfair chance for people. There were a lot of backers too, by the way, guys. Like he said like they were like, how many people? Like I can't even remember how many he told me, but I think there were like 60 people that backed up the Kickstarter campaign. Really crazy stuff, man. I knew you guys would like this kind of stuff though because I, when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I like this, let me talk about it on my channel and boom. So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, and uh, we're gonna take this one. All right, so, you know, keep your ears open in case you did give to the campaign because your name is about to be called. The winner of the Mewtwo is the Stuff, wait, the, the Stuff Reviewer 77. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to read your email, but if your name on Kickstarter is the Stuff Reviewer 77, then congratulations, bro. You just won yourself a Mewtwo Pinblock Pixelated Pixel Art. Oh my God. Damn, I want this thing. No, no, you know what? As a matter of fact, no, you didn't win. No, I'm sorry, dog. No, you ain't win this shit. You ain't getting this shit. But I'm, I'm just playing around. Either way, I want to thank you guys so much. You know, like a lot of you didn't have to support my friend like that, but he, he had a great product, and I'm glad a lot of you saw it for that. I think it's an awesome thing. It's going to blow up really well. Uh, but, it, you know, a lot of support in the early stages is definitely cool. The fact that he has a toy company in the first place is just kind of admirable. And then on top of it all, he's actually making something that's cool. I mean, there's a lot more stuff to this than just pin blocks. I mean, there's, excuse me, there's a lot more stuff to this than just pixel art, but definitely one of my favorite things about this whole thing. Um, and if you guys do want to keep up with pin block, because you know, it's a product that's coming onto the market now, and I think you'll be able to purchase some like box sets to be able to put your own stuff together now. Of course, I'll leave links in the description to their social media pages and potentially to a purchase page if that's possible at the current moment, so you can keep up with pin block and see what the hell's going on with them and whatnot. I, I highly suggest you do. Just get these for the simple fact that you can make any kind of pixel art out there. That's one of the really like appealing things about this, but hey, either way guys, I will talk to you in the next video. Once again, thank you all who did contribute to the campaign for your support and thank you guys who watch me in general just keeping me alive while I do this whole YouTube thing I really do appreciate it oh, excuse me appreciate it in so many ways take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one